Jeremiah with Main Course, and I wanted to put together an instructional video for those uh, DJ friends of mine or just anyone that wants to organize their music in folders and in iTunes um, without having to constantly update their playlist manually. Basically, how I organize my music is I have one main folder with a whole bunch of kind of genre folders or whatever makes sense to me. Don't mind some of these namings, but they all make sense in my head. I also have a corresponding playlist folder called Serato in my iTunes and to make a playlist folder simply go file new playlist folder and this folder contains a whole bunch of playlists and all these playlists correspond to the different folders that are in my music folder. So basically what I've done is they've all been synced and they're added but the question is, you know, what happens when there's new music and how can you automatically update it? It's a pretty easy fix. There's a program called Automator, which makes this all super easy. Um, basically, when you open it up, you're going to see some options. You want to check folder action. And what this will do is when a certain folder is modified or something is added to it, an action will be triggered. And... Yeah, so basically click folder action and choose your folder. We'll pick uh, bounce for example. Now once we've select we've selected our target file, now we want to go to music and this is kind of a shortcut of um, scripts and utilities that you can add into this. What we're going to need is import files into iTunes. Drag that over and you have a couple options. You can create a new playlist from what you add to the bounce folder or add to an existing playlist which is what we want to do. And then here's the drop down of all the different iTunes playlists you have. There's quite a few but for my purposes I want to put them in my main bounce folder. So from there all you have to do is save it and just name it something you'll remember like Add to playlist, bounce, and click save. Now once you've created that, and you're going to have to create them for every file, every folder corresponding to every playlist that you want updated. From there, you're going to want to head to your music folder and right click the, the folder that you created for and go to folder action setup. And you'll see all these scripts and these are all different scripts that I've created to correspond with all my folders. So you'll want to find the one that you uh, just created. In my case it's this. And click attach. And I've got some duplicates. You only really need one. Um, but I want to show you the process of how you create it. Basically all my folders have their own um, automated script attached to it. So now that those are in place, it's just a matter of watching how it works. So now you can go to your downloads folder or whatever and let's find something. Okay, I'll put this Botnet, Botnet Remix of Jack Beats in my Electro House folder and what it should do is basically say hey there's a new file in Electro House now let's update the corresponding let's add it to iTunes library and update the corresponding playlist so this will just take a second or five or ten because I'm recording it um, there it is. It has been added. So it's now in my iTunes library, but also in this playlist, it has been added. So it's a super handy way to just, um, you know, easily transfer things into a folder and have your playlist automatically updated. Keeps everything in sync so that uh, you have all the newest files there. Um, another trick that I learned, it isn't quite so groundbreaking is um, just smart playlists. What you do is in iTunes go to file and then go new smart playlist and it's going to come up with a bunch of options. I'll show you this one that I made for uh, newest editions. It basically allows you to set some parameters 
And what I've done is anything I've added in the last two months that's been modified or created in the last two months should go into this, which would really only give me the newest of the files that I've added in the last two months. So I kind of have a list of everything that I've added there recently. Um, so that's a handy trick. But yeah, that's basically how I'm keeping my Serato folder updated. And of course, uh, my Serato or your tractor will read from your iTunes. So it's great to be able to keep them in sync like this. So yeah, once again, go to Automator, Automator create those scripts, add files from your download into your music folder, and they'll automatically show up. Uh, thanks again. I hope you like this. This is Jeremiah from Main Course. You can hit me on Twitter at Neoteric and check out www.maincourse.me. And we'll be back with more tips later. Ciao.